Hi, my name's Tiffany, and this summer I'll be working and living in Blind Channel, a remote community on West Thurlow Island, complete with a marina, store, restaurant, and more. Come along and join the adventure. Alrighty, hello, good morning, welcome to the vlog. I look really pale. I don't think I'm actually this pale. Anyways, today is Friday, and it is we are in a heat wave, basically. So let's come along and see how terrible it is to work in this heat wave, especially with a mask. It's the worst, but it's a beautiful day. I will give it to that. And it's um, pretty chilly still. It's only 26. Only 26. That's ridiculous. But it's Friday, so we've got all our orders coming in today. So there will probably be melting. And by Monday, I think it's supposed to get to 30, between 37 and 39 here. And we are on the water. <sighs> Plot twist on the hot day. It is 22 degrees, it is 12.30, and there's a water leak on property, so all the water is currently off. I have this much left in my water bottle. <laughs> Plus, liquor showed up at low tide, so that was fun. At the same time as the mail. It's, it's a day. <laughs> but we're getting through it. I almost have all the liquor out. So that's good. And then later we'll be getting store provisions because we're getting low here. We have no dairy. <laughs> Fridays are always the busiest days. I had the bright idea that we have ice ready to go in the machine. And I met the chef there with the same idea. So we both just grabbed a bunch of ice. So hopefully that'll keep us going for a little while. You know, I honestly didn't think the vlog today was gonna start out like this. So we have no power. Um, because it's a power issue as to why we don't have water. So the power that is feeding the, um, wow, my brain just stopped. The pump for the water is not working. So that's why we have no water. <laughs> so no power, no water. So I'm in the house. We have no power. Um, <laughs> also, we have no counter in here because they're replacing it today, this side and potentially that side, I don't know. So like, <laughs> this is gonna be my lunch. I'm just gonna have two pieces of naan, I guess. That'll work. <laughs> we have a mess over here, a mess there, and they're still at the other place. They don't know if they'll get here. And also it's like 20 some odd degrees in here today, or outside, I think it's like, oh, it's saying 31, but I think that's from town and I can't check what it is here because without the power, there's no internet. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. So this is what I'm gonna go with. I'll probably add some chips when I get down, back down to the store. I don't know. I went down to the Share Bear so I could pee and flush a toilet, which is a wonderful thing. Um, and that's the situation. It's been super, super busy for me for stuff in the store. We still have power down at that side of the property. Um, super busy getting stuff done down there. And then, um, not super busy per se, but like I mentioned, Friday is my busiest day, so we will be getting food and dairy and a bunch of other supplies in later today. The liquor is all already dealt with, which is great, but I'm just, it is so warm in here. I do not like, I do not like, and oh yeah, I can't check the temperature in here because the power's not working. <laughs> Who would have thought? And of course, like I said, heat wave. The good thing is I can't, fix the lighting here, but this water bottle here, I filled it up last night, so it's mostly full, so I can chug this, and then I've got ice from the ice machine downstairs for the other one, but yeah. Beautiful day, though. <laughs> Cannot deny that. I guess at this point, I'll just check in with the next update. Hopefully, the next update is we have water and we have power, because I think I'm gonna die. I think I need to switch my shirt, too, because... <sighs> update. I walked in the ocean. Also, we have power and water again, and it's like 33 degrees. <laughs> It's okay, because my feet are cool, and I'm feeling a lot better now. Well, we have power in the house, we have water in the house, we have counters in the house, but the sink is still not put in properly, so the kitchen is a disaster. The, there's drawers from the kitchen all over the place. There, It's just, it's a disaster. It's getting worked on right now, though. It is 20 to 7, so I don't know what the dinner thing's going to be. Um, and also, it's cooled down a bit. Um, it's only 32 degrees now. <laughs> the highest I clocked it at was 33, but it said there was a high of 34 today. Tomorrow it's looking like a high of 35 at the moment, and then 37, 37, 34, and then luckily on Wednesday it cools down to 28. <laughs> I'm not built for this weather. 
Uh, but that's where we're at. I almost like died in the store at the very end because it was just so hot. <sighs> but it is what it is. Lots of stuff to do tomorrow. Lots of heat to murder me. We'll just, just drink a lot of water <laughs> and go outside if need be. Day two, just after 10 a.m. <laughs> I am so sweaty and gross. Like my face is sweating. If I have to have a mask on because somebody comes in, I just die. And it's one of those days where like everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Like we've had leaks, we've had spills. It's just, <sighs> but I mean, there's nobody here. So that's a win. You couldn't see. There's like literally two boats and one is about to leave. That one's leaving, that one's staying. We have hit the high of the day. It is like melty hot out there. It's, it's not enjoyable. Um, I have just been sweating all day, like standing still, nothing touching anything and just sweat. Uh, in good news, it hasn't been busy though, so at least there's that. And I think even with people coming in, they'll probably be pretty lazy and want to stay on the dock on their boats. So that's exciting. Um, we were supposed to have a group of like 11 in for lunch today at 12. They have not shown up. They've not shown up. And then they emailed and said, oh yeah, we're going to be on your property at two and then we're going to go for a walk and then we're going to eat lunch after. So that's the fun drama that's going on today. Um, and then we have like a group of 30-ish tomorrow from a different tour. So we're just, we're just, just hitting the ground running on this uh, busy, hot, hot weekend. And like, I think a lot of the people in the tour group tomorrow are older. And so we're like, are they going to get heat stroke? Because tomorrow the high is 37. So that's nice. But currently I just turn, I open a bunch of windows and I turn the fan on um, to blow some cold air through the house because I... I'm just melting. <laughs> it's just, it's just gross. It's just gross. And um, I'm, I'm heating up the oven, which is like the worst idea ever, but I'm too lazy to cook actual food. So I have chicken strips. I'm just going to make some chicken strips and probably only chicken strips because I don't even feel like putting anything with it. I don't feel like eating. I know I have to eat, but I'm just so hot. The thought of food is not at all appealing, but I'm going to drink a lot more water. I've been just peeing like crazy today because I've been drinking a lot of water, but it's a good thing. So that is, that is the update. That is where we're at. Everything's terrible, but everything is awesome. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. How long can we walk that line between the sea and sand? How long can we bide our time for dreams we never planned? For dreams we never planned? When the sky said the winter time was coming on. 36 degrees still, or again, I don't know. It is. 5.06. <laughs> it is so hot in the store that my brain hurts, <laughs> which is like obviously not ideal, but we're getting through less than an hour left, so that's exciting. I got a lot of work done. Still have a little bit more to do, but it's so hard to focus. I got some computer stuff done though, and almost all the stock is out from the back, so could be worse, probably could be better, but I think the rest of the day is going to be a wash. I'm just going to be the person who exists in the store. I can't believe this is only the end of day two of this stupid heat wave. So my plan was this. I was going to, I showered, like ice cold shower. It was great. I'm already sweating again though, so it's terrible. Um, sh the plan was to shower and then eat. And then I was going to do laundry and hang it on the line because it's so hot out, it'd be fine except when I went to do laundry, the person who had done laundry before me had used the last of the soap and had not bothered to refill it or let anybody know. So I had to go down to the laundry suite to get soap. And after I finished filling it up and I'm leaving and a customer goes, hey, can you help me with this? And then I had to open up the store and I had to charge some things and then I had to close out their bill. And I am so annoyed because now it's getting like humid and wet outside so my clothes won't dry. Whereas if I got it done earlier, 
they probably would have dried tonight. So, do you see the glisten? It is so hot. So, I'm really annoyed, basically, at a couple different people. Specifically that boat, but also the person who um, didn't replace the laundry soap. Like, we don't have to pay for it. You just have to go get it. And so, I'm super annoyed because I have a lot of really sweaty clothes. And if we had a washer, no, if we had a dryer in this house, I would still do it. Or if we had a drying rack, and like, I see there's a drying rack in somebody's room, and I'm like, is the drying rack a house one? Or is it hers? Did she bring it in? I suspect it's a house one. So like, oh. anyways, frustrated that I can't do laundry. So that's fine, but it's um down to 31. So that's exciting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna actually change out this dress because I'm quite <sighs> warm. I might just change into like shorts perhaps. And um, then I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. I'm gonna wash my dishes and eat some snacks because I, I didn't eat a lot of dinner because it was just so warm, but not that I'm not warm now. So I know I'm complaining, but this is just, it's stupid. It is, what time is it? It's almost 8.30 and it's still 31 degrees. It's only supposed to get down to 22 tonight. 22 is a hot day. <laughs> it's 8.17, no thank you. <laughs> Good morning on day three. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is day three of four, three of this heat wave. I don't even know anymore. It's Sunday, whatever that means. And it's showing it's 37 out today, but it's a cooler 37. I don't know if it's just because I have a fan in the store now, which is like a lifesaver, or if there's enough of a breeze, but it's not as terrible as it was yesterday. So. That is a win, either I've acclimatized to it or it just doesn't suck as bad, so that is nice. I'm at home, obviously, it's quarter after two. I'm uh, about halfway through my break and um, I'm just listening to an audiobook while I hang out. I think I might go out and hang out in the sun for a little bit just to be a rebel, but yeah, it's supposed to get up to 39 tomorrow, so we'll see if that happens, but for now, we're just in survival mode and so far, so good. Day four, looking to get up to 38. There is absolutely nobody here. Ooh. <laughs> is my new best friend. I don't know if you can hear me. I love it. It is keeping me alive. Other than that, I am melting. Constantly melting. Going for lunch in 10 minutes. Don't even want to cook. It's way too hot. I know this vlog is a mess, but honestly, I don't even know how I ever had time to vlog while I was working. It's been a very busy, not people day. There's like nobody here. I've had like two customers. But getting things done day, I had to do a save on order because my bosses aren't here and put it in for pickup for them for tomorrow. I was getting another order ready. I still have one more order to do and just like cleaning and all the fun stuff. Um, also, I sweat it more from <laughs> the time that I it took me, like the two minutes it took me to walk from the store to the house. I probably sweat it more in that short period of time than I did, than I have all day. It is so obscenely hot in the sun. I hate it. But I'm just cooking some taco meat right now. Um, I've got some taco chips, so, or nacho chips, so that'll be good. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. <laughs> if it continues going like this, like maybe craft dinner, like craft dinner is an easy thing, not too hot. Um, or maybe just chips, honestly, I don't know. It is, it's too hot to eat already. Um, don't love this, but working on this, very distracted. I'm also, I've got a load of laundry in. We don't have a dryer in this building, which I mentioned the other day. Um, so I've got the washer there. We have, I will show you, a drying rack outside here. So like that's, that's good for most of it. And then I did find the drying rack. It is a house one. So I've got it in my room for anything that I don't want to have out there. So we are set up. Probably by the time I finish eating, I should be able to pull my stuff out of the washer, put it on the line. <sighs> but I'm gonna listen to my audiobook for now. And, um, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's so gross. It's just so gross.
afternoon. It is day five of Too Hot to Function. We are reading at 38 degrees currently with a potential high of 39. It's less hot than yesterday, but still not enjoyable. There's like a bit of a breeze, which is making a world of difference. Also, like for the last night was the first time when we were out on the island in several days where I was actually hungry. But then by the time we got back, I was like, I don't really want to eat, but I still ate dinner. I just had lunch and I think I might actually go for some chips because I'm still a little bit peckish. And um, I think I'm gonna do some bacon and some potatoes for dinner tonight. I just have to buy the potatoes. But yeah, it's been um, a better day. <laughs> the breeze makes a difference, but it's still quite hot. I was gonna wear a t-shirt today and then I didn't even get over the house and I was like, don't, just don't do it, so. But in good news, tomorrow it's supposed to drop. Let's see. I just had this up, why did I not check? The high tomorrow is 27 and it might rain, but also it might thunderstorm, which then means fires. Uh, we're, we're a little bit hazy right now, but it's clearing up a bit. I think it's, there's some fires in the interior. I know you can't really see me and I think that is what we're getting because there's nothing too, too close coastally, but let's go take a look. But yeah, you can see a slight haze on there, but. You know, beautiful day, so hot, but beautiful. But honestly, too hot to be out there for more than a couple minutes without dying. <sighs> it should be good though. Uh, it's even 25, I think would be better. It's just this like 37 business, even 30, honestly, at this point, I'd be jazzed about. But I'm just gonna continue to hydrate, which I have been a little bit bad at the last day and a half or so, so. We're kind of busy today. Yeah, that is a boat that has a reservation. Um, so yeah, so we're a little bit busier today. Yesterday we had nobody today. I think we're gonna have two, four, five, seven to eight boats at least on the dock. So that's exciting because it gets a little boring <laughs> when it's hot and there's nothing to do. But also we have supplies coming in today, so that's gonna be fun. <sighs> Anyways, I, I, this, I know this like video or this vlog is like crazy and like scattered because that's what it's been like over the last couple days. Crazy and scattered, mostly brain power scattered, but also just, just everywhere because I'm, yeah, busy, busy. Hopefully things will get sorted. I have so many ideas of things I want to film this summer, but we will see what happens. Anyways, I think I'm going to go snack a bit because... I'm still hungry and I still have like half an hour left on my break and then uh, we'll go from there. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. It's like 27 degrees-ish and I am cold. I am in like a t-shirt and I'm in capris and it just feels wonderful. There's a breeze coming in, I'm cold and I'm not gonna like put on a sweater because I am just relishing this, it's so nice. Also, I'm working on my Argonoth embroidery that I started forever ago. It's something that I'm making for myself, so that's why I've just been kind of lazy on it, but it's been very therapeutic. I'm just listening to a book. It's um, book number two in the Glittering Court series. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I was hoping my watch would tell me, but it's not. But uh, it is currently just after 10. It's still beautiful and bright outside because summer, but I actually feel cold and it is so nice and it's supposed to I think the high tomorrow is like maybe 31 but I think it's actually in the 20s we have got through this it is amazing and I'm just I'm just I'm jazzed the last four days five days whatever have just been terrible they have been terrible I have hated them but like I said we're on the other side now so I think I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because the weather is changing and uh, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night embroidering until I decide to go to sleep which is gonna be pretty soon so I'll um, see you in the next one